Hey guys, okay, so I got this one new uh, highlighting palette in and I really am feeling the need to play around with it. So I thought, well, I'll just do a video to play around with it. It's basically my first impressions because I haven't used this palette before and I just kind of am in the mood uh, to play with some different colors. So my brows are hella dark at the moment because I just recently got them microbladed and shaded again. So they're super, super dark, which I happen to love, but uh, you know, it might scare the bejeebies out of a few of you guys, but because they're so dark, I'm just going to use it to my advantage and do a super dramatic eye look because then it should fit uh, a little more nicely together. So the new palette that I got is uh, from Anastasia. It's the Aurora Glow Kit. There goes the stupid plasticky thingy. So these are all highlighters. Um, but I'm not going to let this stop me because I'm going to use, I'm going to test them out and see what they're like for eyes. So I'm going to play around with this, uh, blue color here, Orion, and we'll just see what happens. Cause who knows? This might look like doo-doo. Oh, but it's not, it's not going to. <gasps> okay. So. I know blue eyeshadow is something that a lot of people are not a fan of. I've never really understood that. Most likely my childhood recital dancing days is what I'm going to relive at this moment, uh, which I would love. So while a lot of people are not into blue eyeshadow, I think it's awesome. And I'm gonna make this more of a fall look even though it's this crazy blue. So yes, this would be a highlighter on somebody, uh, not a highlighter, to be totally honest, that I would ever do on my cheeks. I'm not gonna use that, uh, this bluish color. But I feel like it could be a cool look on the right skin tone. Okay, so let's work some golds and oranges and that kind of stuff with this. But already, Already I'm a huge fan of this. And I know that there's gonna be some of you guys out there that are gonna say, hell to the no, I would never do that. And that's fine. You don't have to. You totally don't have to. This is not the most wearable look for the majority of you guys. So I'm kind of putting it on the inside corner on my lid here. And I get, again, if this is not your jam, I totally understand, but I feel like doing a lot of color. And I bet there's a way that, you know, you could play around with this and somehow turn this into some sort of Halloween look. I just don't like doing Halloween looks. L Halloween looks. Okay, so I'm going, the next color I'm going to use is in the Anastasia Modern Romance palette. And this color is called Raw Sienna, which is this little doodad here. This could be an epic failure. I really don't know. I don't have anything. You know, I know some people who really like plan out their looks and say this is exactly what I'm gonna do. But I have a really hard time doing that because that's not what I ever do. Even when I'm doing my own makeup at home and getting ready, I don't do that. I really, I just go with the flow and uh, grab colors and then figure out a way to make it work. So this is my exact same thing this is how I would get ready at home, the exact same way. So you'll kind of, maybe you'll learn something from the thought process of this. Okay, so pretty dark as a transition color. <sighs> I like it. This is typical for me. Scare the heck out of people. I know a lot of you guys want some super wearable looks and I get that I do and I promise that I'll do some super wearable looks at some point But right now I'm just gonna go a little crazy Because I'm so into this fall weather and everything right now. It's so beautiful to me. Okay, let's Let's see if I can I'll use the same palette, Modern Romance. This color is called Red Ochre. 
And these, all the brushes, I've had somebody else ask me this recently, all of the brushes I use are for eyes are almost always the Wayne Goss brushes because I love them. So yeah, I'm feeling very inspired by fall. So I'm putting this color right in the crease and a little bit on this outside with some circles. Yeah, girl. Sometimes I'm inspired by the clothes that I wear. I feel like I've worn this shirt in videos before. My tried and true flannel, which at one point I got a little too heavy to wear and I couldn't button it up. <laughs> Oops, I got hungry. Um, so now I'm in a healthier place in some ways with my relationship with food in some ways. Yeah, booyah, I love that. Okay, again, I know this might scare the bejeebies out of a few of you guys, but just roll with me on this. Don't get scared, this is supposed to be fun. I'm gonna go to the Natasha Denona Lila palette and take Cyclone, which is a shimmery, coppery sort of color. And I'm gonna do this on this little outside corner here. Do I like that? I think so. I think I'm gonna put now what's under Cyclone Magnol Magnolia. Magnolia is a gold. I've probably already complained about that. I wouldn't have named that that. Put a little gold. So yeah, this is a lot of colors. But some people spend a long time literally like just doing their eyeliner and they don't ever wear any, oh dang it, drop a brush. They don't ever do any um, fun colors on their eyes and I don't understand that. I would much rather work the colors than work the eyeliner. But that's just me. If you'd rather work the eyeliner, by all means, go for that. So I'm just kind of, I don't like to see where one color starts and the other one stops. So I'm just blending so that it goes kind of from this icy blue to this sort of gold, coppery, red, you know. I like for things to just morph a little bit. Okay, what if I take another color? I'm not gonna go crazy, I promise. I won't go too crazy with colors. I'll take that same red ochre. Red ochre. And I always do, I do my black eyeliner. That's kind of a thing I do with me and use that same black eyeliner. You have to be careful when you wear like reds and these sort of colors. You really need to make sure that you have some black up against if your, your actual eyeball have more black up against it first, because if not, you're gonna look a little strung out. Okay, that is so pretty. I love that. Let's, I'll fix the other eye quickly for time's sake. Sometimes I just end up doing one eye for you guys, and that's strictly because my, um, I'm, I'm not the best with, uh, technology so I like to try to keep the videos as short as possible so that I don't have to spend a lot of time editing so that I can hurry up and uh, just upload it. That's some truth. So I don't even know if this is the same little brush. No, this is typical. Little brush, red ochre, and use that color in my actual crease and do some little circle guys out here. Mm -hmm. Little smudge brush, red ochre underneath. Make the crazy faces. Mm -hmm. I hope that's the face they use for the thumbnail because I'm convinced that YouTube would like for me to look 
as ugly as I possibly can. And don't tell me that I can change the thumbnail. Because people tell me that. And I'm like, really? How much faith do you have in me? I'm not talented like that. Okay. A little coppery. Cyclone. Well, I don't know what brush this is. Some cheap brush. It's just kind of flat. A little gold. Kind of want a little more gold over here. So don't be scared. I don't under, you know, makeup is not something to be scared about. If things don't turn out the way that you want them to, I mean, you can always take it off and start over. I'm never gonna do that because I'm lazy, but I'm just gonna find a way to make it, make it work. And I do whatever I need to do, try to figure out to make it work because to start over is just sounds horrible to me and it's like admitting defeat don't let makeup defeat you just figure out a way to make it work so there's lighting i try to have really good lighting here but again don't see where one color starts the other stops if you need to just kind of do some little circles if you notice i don't usually i don't tend to do um a lot if anything let's see here let's find a brush i haven't used that works i don't do a lot on my brow bone um i personally don't on me i don't know i think it can be a very youthful look if you do matte down here and then shimmer up here but i just i prefer doing matte if I'm going to do it. And this is the lightest color that's in this Anastasia palette. Tempura. That just makes me think of tempura. But I don't I don't like the brow bone to be to look super white and I don't like it to be shiny. And is this color shiny at all? No, not really. Okay, very pretty. I think you could do a really dark lip with this if nighttime, but I'm gonna do a really light uh, lip, most likely. I don't know. I say light lip. Let's see what we think. Is it too metallic-y? Is it too crazy? This is from Milani. This is Prismatic Touch. I love these Milani um, liquid lipsticks. This one might, it might not work. I don't know. Might be too pink. Might be too, too much. This is totally what I would do at home though, is put this on. And be like, oh God. I don't like it. and then figure out a way to make it work because I'm not gonna take it off. So you're getting the real deal here. Heel, heel, getting the real deal, heel. Hmm, hate it, hate it. So, hmm. I'm gonna jack with this guy a little bit more, most likely by using eyeshadow because that's what I do. So let it dry for a second and uh, I'll put some eyeshadow on top of it and try to turn it into something that I actually do like. Now I'm going way, I'm gonna go over the time. I'm gonna have to edit this. I suck at editing. I have so many videos that I need to edit. This is the red ochre. Up. And what do you know, just putting that on makes me happier. So see? 
this is why it's fun to experiment and not to get like super caught up in, oh no, I don't like this. And I tell people to be creative, but I think a lot of people are like, yeah, but how? I might have got a little too creative on that little guy. Let's see. Let's not try to get my lips to look too cuckoo. So, putting this red ochre on top, not necessarily right in the middle though. Yeah, see, see, just a little bit of that. A little bit of that made everything better. Take a little bit of that gold color that I don't like that they named it Magnolia and dust that on a little more red ochre right over here yeah <laughs> there okay a million times better I don't know that's why I just have always figured out ways if I don't like that I did something how can I how can I turn it into something that I do like? Um, you know, I might hate this one aspect of it, but I don't, if I don't necessarily hate, hate the entire thing, I just don't wanna go through having to redo. So I don't have any highlighter on, and I have this beautiful highlighter palette. So I'm gonna take, ooh, fingers crossed, I'm gonna take Eclipse, which is this sort of color. I have no idea. This might pull a little more pinky gold. Oh, mama like. I like a good pinky gold. Whoa. Whoa. I'm gonna go for a walk outside after this. Shine to the heavens. Oh, yeah. I would use that color all the time. The blush I have on is Rock Couture because, you know, you guys are going to get tired of me using the same colors and blush, but so be it. Mm -hmm. mm. I'm feeling it. Maybe a little too much right there. Love. Oh, I probably need some eyes. I'll put mascara on. And... I may or may not put lashes on because this is already like whew, quite a bit, but knowing me, I'll probably put lashes on, but then my brows don't look as scary dark. And that's the reason why I'm doing such a dark color now because my brows are in the healing process and they're scary dark. So let's be honest. I'm always dramatic anyways. I like a good dramatic look. But when, I, when you have your brows this dark though, you do kind of have to balance some things out a little bit. So that was kind of fun, uh, trying something new and playing around with this stuff. So let me guys know, let me guys, my gosh, I just can't talk these days. And then I drop stuff. You guys let me know if you have ever done a crazy dramatic look and then how you were able to, if it scared the bejeebies out of you, how you were able to turn it around and do something that you liked. I think it's really fun to work like these nice, cool, icy colors. It's fun to do work those with the warm colors. I like for the cheek and lip to be in the same family, but when it comes to, uh, when it comes to eyes, I think it's really fun to kind of work these colors. You can see my spasmatic way that I put mascara on. But this is just the way I put mascara on and you know, it's a little insane. But it works for me. I know there's people that when they put mascara on they take like 25 minutes to put their mascara on and there's no way in hell I would ever do that. Okay, so no mascara, mascara, better. The lips are a little, they're a little big, a little big, a little messy, but 
I happen to really like it. So, well, I don't really necessarily like the messy look of my lips. I'm sure I'll fix that in a second. But it's fine. It's not the end of the world, you know, to have your lips be a little messy looking. I've gone way over time now, so I might as well just finish this look out. And, uh, Maybe I'll spend some time editing this one. I have other videos that I freaking need to edit and get up. Oi. Mm. How to put mascara on without making a crazy face. Can't do it. Must make the crazy face. Okay. I feel like my lashes are going through a shedding process at the moment. And I've lost a handful on this side. This is what mascara is for. This is also what lashes are for. Okay, so this is my beautiful fall look inspired by the incredible weather that we're having. Uh, here in Seattle this week. I'm gonna use this NYX Wonder Pencil. This is the lightest one because I'm pasty white. And I really like using this pencil a lot. It's good to clean up. Clean up any little mistakes. You can also use this in the waterline. I just always do black in my waterline. but I'm a big fan of using this pencil. And yeah, you might have to blend it a little bit. I don't wanna just have this weird white or fleshy colored, it's not quite white, but still. So, of course, I'm just gonna keep dropping brushes. So I'll fix this little white line. Blend it out a little bit. But everything can be fixed. You don't have to start all over. Don't get stressed about those kinds of things. It's okay. Ta-da! Super pretty, love this look. And that was, none of this was planned. It was all done on the fly. And that's most likely a metaphor of how I live my life. Everything on the fly. Don't be like me. Okay. So, have fun playing around with uh, mixing some warm and cool colors together. Don't be scared. You can do all of these same colors and work this entire look and make it look really soft. It doesn't have to be dramatic. Everything can be done very lightly. So, um, yep, have an awesome day, and I'll talk to you guys soon. Okay, bye.